And I'm like, what are you doing? We was doing great with our nightly rain to, you know, renew us and replenish us. And we need it, Lord, because it's hot. Y'all, I think I'm going to be by myself because I don't want to be bothered. And it's crazy because it's like, do I want to be by myself? Like, forever? No, who does? But I don't want nobody talking to me, so how we going to make this work? Daddy got a little char. Food and rent. You got all my money, baby. You can have it. What? You what? Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm extremely happy and relaxed because it's Friday evening. <laughs> yes, I look forward to this moment right here all damn day. I'm currently watching Dark on Netflix. This is my literally like 10th time trying to watch this, y'all. I can never get past like the fifth episode because everybody says it's like one of the best shows on Netflix, but I can't put my phone down. So last night I watched um, episode one. And I actually watched it. And it was crazy because I seen this dog on episode like 10 times. And never seen the episode like I seen it last night when I wasn't touching my phone. So it's, I'm interested now. So let's see. Um, but it is something that you have to watch. Because they play like I like to listen while I'm scrolling. But they play a lot of music in between while stuff be happening. You need to pay attention. Anyway, I'm trying to watch it. Um, I just ate dinner as y'all seen. Had a shower. I am just, oh my god, yes. I'm very sore from the gym this week. I just look forward to this all day. Y'all have no idea. I look forward to this all day. Do y'all remember when I bought these freaking cinnamon rolls? When we went to the grocery store on Sunday and I told y'all when I bought them, like I probably won't have them to the end of the week. The end of the week has came. I'm probably gonna have two. And if I did, guess what? I have the calories for them, barely. But we will be a little bit over, like probably 50 or so calories over. Girl, please. I'm probably going to have to. Let me see how big they is. I don't know. I'm a little fool, but I'm about to make my hookah. Ooh, yeah, I got to do my little hookah. And I have Delta Non Shisha, if y'all know what that means. So I might be a little hungry. Anyway, um, one of y'all, well, not y'all. I don't know if they watch me on YouTube. But some uh, Instagram person told, uh, Instagram person, somebody on Instagram told me that I was really going to like these and these are really good. I've never picked up, I've always just had the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. So I've never picked these particular ones up before. Sister Schubert's. I've had her dinner rolls before though. That was a staple in Mama Lorraine house on Sunday now. Um, oh, these are beautiful. Oh, look at this. Yes, they are a nice size. How many of them are there? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, ooh, girl. Okay, this is four. Wait, oh, yeah, four, five, six, eight. 
Okay, some of these might have to get frozen. I don't want to throw none out, but I can't have eight this weekend. Like, yeah, we can't. Anyway, I did defrost it. Oh, I have to preheat the oven. How did I forget that? Um, we have to preheat our oven to 375. Yeah. All right, and then since I did thaw them out because it takes less time for them to cook and also a less step because when you don't thaw them out, they talking about cover it with foil and then take it out, take the foil off. Y'all know I'm, I don't do all this way too many instructions. So that's why I did thaw them out. Um, and it says bake on the middle rack for 15 to 20 minutes. Homegirl told me, you know, if you like them a little gooey, don't let them cook all the way. So uh, 15, 14, and like 30 seconds. <laughs> or until desired browning right until yeah until desired browning and then that's it and then you just put the icing on it oh my gosh i am excited but we have to wait to the oven to preheat meanwhile i'm going to be getting my hookah ready i already have my clothes on when i tell y'all like i really waited for this all night all day i was like i, I edited my vlog today I got 10, y'all seen that? Oh yeah, I showed y'all. I got over 10,000 steps today, it was great. I had to hustle for that, but I did. Went to the gym, I washed a load of clothes. I was productive. Cause baby, I be saying I'm gonna wash clothes every day and I never do it. I never throw them in there. And now they need to be folded and it probably won't happen for another two weeks. But <laughs> I was productive today. Today was a good day. I was in good spirits today because i woke up and i said lord i believe but help my unbelief and i every time i went on a walk with yay today was set for the last walk so two out of three walks i went on with yay today i was praying and talking to the lord because it, it literally does help y'all like i nothing in my life has changed but today is so much better today is literally probably the best day i've had this week and nothing extravagant happened or anything. I'm just me, like my head space. Uh, I think Monday was okay too. But anyway, today is much better than the last time y'all saw me. And I started, oh no, the shisha's going in there. I have to throw it out anyway. I started um, vlogging in the last vlog last Wednesday. So that was two days ago. Yeah, and today was a nice little day. So... Yeah, I'm just doing my unwinding like nighttime routine. Oh, I would want I want to take a gummy and smoke this, but then I know I'm gonna eat like 15 cinnamon rolls. You should not do that. No. All right, I don't know if y'all can see. I already done bit into one. Um, and they're not as sweet as well. I don't know because I haven't put the icing on. What y'all can see, I'm about to do now. But I don't feel like they're gonna be as sweet as the Pillsbury ones. Which I guess I'm okay with. Um, it's cinnamon bread. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Cinnamon roll. I know that's the per correct term. But it doesn't need to be super sweet. I just. I know the Pillsbury ones tend to get a little bit crunchy. Or I leave them in there too long. I don't know. But these seem like they're more like soft. And even the cream. Oh my god, the cream tastes better than Pillsbury to me. These taste like more homemade, I guess, than the Pillsbury ones. And I can't get this little bit of um cream out. Oh my god. Oh, oh I don't want this to be sticky. And I don't feel like you have enough. Well, you don't have as much cream as the Pillsbury one, or I didn't distribute it well, but it's fine. Y'all, this is dangerous because, yeah, I thought I done hit that hookah. I'm like, you know what? I, I could eat about three, actually. You th <laughs> These are so good. <laughs> I will see y'all tomorrow. I'm about to enjoy the rest of my night. <laughs> Y'all know what I really hate about apartment living because if y'all know me, then y'all know I'm not like, I don't, I have a house actually. <laughs> That's another story. I don't have a house that I live in, that I purchased to live in. Um, 
I don't feel the need really I don't so basically I ain't gonna say I don't feel the need feel the need to have one I don't necessarily have a want for a house like at all even if because you guys know like I wanted a townhouse but I was talking about renting like I don't have a want like to purchase the house but anyway that's beside the point what I hate about living in an apartment because there's really only one thing because I love I don't have a, a problem living in an apartment at all I love maintenance <laughs> I, I do I love that my front door is not visible like you can't get, anyway girl just get to what you do not like I do not like that every time I walk out of my house or out of my apartment to the outside to walk my dog mostly because if when I get in my car like it's a garage right but no like to walk the dog there are people outside that sometimes want to engage in conversation when I tell y'all I'm an introvert like I need y'all to understand I don't want to hear nothing about but you you just got this personality uh, mm -hmm, yep to myself for myself and for small amounts of people that I care to bring into my life <laughs> I walk out my house and there's people outside that want to talk mostly men because you know what's crazy yeah let me just cut to the chase it's not women I don't y'all I think I'm gonna be by myself because I don't want to be bothered and that's crazy because it's like do I want to be by myself like forever no who does but I don't want nobody talking to me so how are we gonna make this work and let me give y'all an example so when I walked to the other day I saw this girl with this lively dog she was so lively I don't know it, it looked like some type of poodle breed but it was small probably you know a mix but I just thought that it was a puppy the way it was so lively and we got to talking and she was like oh no he's actually four and then she was talking about like she had a home girl that wanted her to get a french bulldog just you know and that was fine but then there was a man outside yesterday that engaged in conversation with me and i'm just like and you know what no that's not true let me not lie actually i didn't mind his conversation he asked me about like living there because he was thinking about moving there his brother lived there then this was weird the next question was literally like so what do you do for a living and i told him you know that's kind of weird just to ask somebody on the street but i told him i worked in advertising which isn't a lie and then he was like for who and i was like for google my check literally comes from google adsense baby not lying so anyway we, we talked and it was okay then it got to oh we should hang out this weekend I take Yum out and I never um, take my phone with me and so I was like well, I don't have my phone and so I gave him my number now listen um, oh yeah we're gonna get together I didn't hear from him don't care actually glad cuz I'm too passive to just be like no actually I'm not interested in linking up so I doubted that he was gonna follow through and he didn't men are so full of shit but I don't understand like we could have just had the conversation that we had you know oh I and then okay and I met men like that and I really that's great we have our conversation and they say oh you have a nice day and I'm cool with that so let me think like I be really trying to analyze like why I'm irritated I'm not irritated but it's just like I did not want to leave my house this morning to walk this dog because I was like oh I look crazy I hope there's nobody outside that engages in conversation with me and guess what there was a man outside that engaged in the conversation with me and he didn't even it was just you know asking about the dog and my baba I don't want to talk especially when I look like I just got out of bed because I did and I woke up late but I had to get the dog out maybe my biggest beef is I don't want to leave the house to walk this damn dog in what I be looking like in the house. Maybe that's what it is. Because how I look now, I probably wouldn't care. Okay, throw the conversation out the window. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all so sick of me. It's not that. I just don't like looking crazy. And I remember walking young in the rain. And it's raining. And I knew it was raining. But y'all, the dog doesn't care that it's raining. They have to go out. And I look ridiculous hoodie on like it is in the middle of summer but it's raining and then this guy literally gets out this car to talk to me and I'm like oh my god why look at me look at me and y'all I gave him my name and this is crazy like yeah you are gonna be alone what's wrong with you the guy get out of the car to talk to me he was a nice looking guy he was gave him my number the guy calls me I don't answer the phone ha! I don't want to talk like why didn't you just send a message and that is so crazy like but that's just i don't know y'all that's just me speaking out loud but anyway we're going to the gym to do our cardio it is literally 1 30 
I had to decide if I was going to go here. Well, why are you deciding? Is it, it's not really up for discussion unless it's Sunday. Which it ain't up for discussion on Sunday. You're not going to the gym more than likely on Sunday. You're just not. That is my rest day when I literally rest. I don't care about no steps. I don't care about nothing. That's just my day. But today is Saturday. So why are we talking about Sunday? You're going to go do your cardio. If you didn't go to the gym, then you need to walk. And you knew you weren't going to walk. It's too damn hot outside. So what is you doing? Then we're going to go to Whole Foods. Um, now, I have... Come, I haven't been to the store since last Sunday, so it's almost been a week. But I'm not going to Whole Foods to get my weekly groceries. I have come to the understanding that Whole Foods is reserved for specialty items. So we can go to Whole Foods to grab stuff like, oh, our Olipop. Oh, I cannot find my dog on Lesser Evil Popcorn. Homer's Blend. Gotta be the Homer's Blend. Unless it's at Whole Foods. Like they have um, the Lesser Evil Popcorn in other places, but the Homer's Blend specifically, I've only seen at Whole Foods in Sprouts. Okay, so Whole Foods is a specialty item place, and so is Sprouts, but I tend to gravitate to Whole Foods more. But I think I want to do like a shrimp pasta tonight, so I'll grab that. But this is not the weekly grocery store because I need to go to Sam's because I'm running low on eggs. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go to the grocery store. If I don't go Monday, I'm going to go Tuesday. It would have been well over a week. I need eggs. I need breakfast meat. I need food for real. I need. I ran, I'm, I'm low on pancakes. I got like two packs of my protein pancakes. Like yeah, it's it's, a, it's time for a Sam's run. But first, we, we're going to do our cardio. I need to discuss. First of all, one of y'all told me to go get the what the better. Forget before I get in there. This is two bags from Whole Foods. There is nothing in these bags. These are sixty damn dollars, and this is my issue with the ninety dollar nails. That's the issue. If you saw the last vlog, I got a standard little French tip, no length on my nails. So I can make a fist, and that, and this was ninety dollars. And I was telling y'all that they didn't sit right with me. I know that nails are cost, but that's when you start getting designs and length. I got something really basic, and I said, it's not acrylic, though. So I was like, I need to move back to acrylic or do something. Maybe I need to go to the nail salon that ain't in my neighborhood. I don't know. But this is why the $90 after tip $100 nails did not sit right with me. This is literally why. Because I like to eat nice food, and I like to shop at Whole Foods. And I like to buy food, period. So like the hundred dollars for the nails, and I cannot, cause this was like I told y'all, this wasn't even groceries for the week, baby. Let's get into it. This, I'm glad this was the first thing that I'm about to cut somebody. First of all, whoever told me to get the better bagel, and when they told me they was at Whole Foods, I knew they was a hundred dollars. I knew they was. Y'all, this was twelve ninety nine, I think. If it wasn't, to, matter of fact, forget that, the receipt right here. This was probably the most expensive thing I bought, and it is. This was $12.99 for four darn bagels. Four, not even a week's worth, 13 damn dollars. Now, the macros are amazing. Your sister said it was good, we're about to have one now. It's 160 calories for a bagel. Most bagels regular be like 220. Not only that, but it's 25 grams of protein. It's 34 grams of fiber in a bagel. The macros are on point. So I'm not really mad, but literally y'all, this is what I be telling y'all about. Like again, the nails and the overconsumption period. There are certain things that are important to certain people. Mine is food. This is amazing if this tastes good it's 25 grams this is more than the pancakes the fiber alone y'all is over your allotted amount that they're amazing i hope they're good because they do say plant-based and i was a little worried and i had to read the ingredients but the ingredients just say first ingredient is water i guess wheat protein isolate it wasn't nothing crazy modified wheat starch modified food starch agave fiber sea salt ground cinnamon because i got the cinnamon kind Enzymes, yeast, monk fruit, exact. It's not even a lot of ingredients. Love this. Love that. I hope they taste well. 
But $12.99 I don't love. But if they're good, y'all, I'm not gonna hold you, I'm gonna buy them again because they're good for you. They do, they meet my protein meat needs, they meet my fiber needs. These nails ain't did shit for me. This is what I mean. This is why y'all don't see me. I'm not those damn influencers that's always shopping and buying little stuff because this is important. This and rent. <laughs> Food and rent. You got all my money, baby. You can have it. Now, I shouldn't have did this out of impulse. I should have just went to Whole Foods. Y'all know in the last grocery haul, I went to Kroger and I was telling y'all, remember the Mission Tortillas? Yes, they taste amazing, but I had some for like three to four months. They had no mold on them, nothing. I was like, I was disgusted by it. It's too processed. And then I got this Guerrero Carb Watch high fiber they're 60 calories i said okay maybe these would be a little bit better but i knew better so guess what went to whole foods like i knew would be the one when i tell y'all these smell so good like you could smell them in the where they were so these are organic corn and wheat tortillas 80 calories or tortillas so only 20 more than this y'all ingredients water organic corn masa flour Organic wheat, organic wheat flour, baking powder, um, sodium bicarbonate, organic cane sugar, organic whatever, some gorgom and sea salt. Okay, four grams of protein, one gram of fiber. Now these do have these four grams of protein too, but they have 12 grams of fiber. I don't know though. I feel like these gonna be better. Not because they're organic, but probably because they're organic. Cause I look at the ingredients here. The ingredients are not that bad. But I don't know, like these just smell so good. So, I knew that Whole Foods would have, when I told y'all I was looking for a cleaner tortilla, Whole Foods would have it. My only issue is I couldn't make like a sandwich with those with lunch meat if we was allowed to eat lunch meat right now. You got another Listeria thing going on. And these would be more so for like tacos, what I planned for them. Cause those fish tacos and that, eh. But I understand it wasn't really that type of tortilla. <laughs> I had, I got some Cajun seasoning too, cause I ain't had none. I was seasoning with, baby, I got some blackened ones. That fish is going to hit, okay? Okay? If I didn't want pasta tonight, did I tell y'all that? <laughs> then we would be having fish tacos, but all right. So these tortillas, literally y'all, my total was $60.76. These tortillas were not bad though. Them bagels was the bad ones. Um, these tortillas were $4.79. I'm not mad at that. It's six of them in there. All right. Here's the blackened season that I got. It's freshly packed. Um, then I got shrimp for our pasta tonight. And this wasn't that bad. It was close to a pound, $8. All right. I was going to get the cooked shrimp that was a pound. It was a little bit more, but it was tequila lime. And I didn't really want that flavor with my pasta. And this is just, it says shrimp scampi. Um, but I, from looking at it, because I don't have any ingredients because it's shrimp, it just looks like it has some garlic on it and like maybe some parsley. Um, then I got salsa for said fish tacos that we'll probably have tomorrow for dinner. Cause I have beans and stuff in there. Um, and these, y'all I could not, I'm sorry. The dog on cooked food section at Whole Foods has me in a chokehold. These smell amazing. These are Brussels sprouts, but look at them. Look how they are seasoned. So they are sriracha glazed Brussels sprouts and they are $5. Y'all know this is one of the things we went for. The Lesser Evil Popcorn is about $5 a bag. The Homer's Green is my favorite. Y'all see this, right? It's three more things in this bag. Just tell me how this is $60. Lettuce, because I'm going to make a Caesar salad tonight with our pasta. I'm glad I didn't need nothing for this pasta. As you can see, there is no, I didn't, we're not doing like a creamy pasta. I've never done this before and I hope it's good. It's pretty much just going to be oil, garlic, and Parmesan cheese pasta with shrimp. Like, I didn't want to do the milk and all of that, the heavy cream. I didn't want that with all that cheese. Like, it's still going to be cheese, but, you know, Parmesan cheese, your friend. So, speaking of, this is the fettuccine pasta that I got. That was, like, $4 or so. I had originally picked up the $8 pasta. Then I seen that and said, no, ma'am. And then I got some peeled garlic because, yeah, we need that for the recipe. Literally, how many items is this, y'all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. $60, 10 items. But I'm not mad at this. I'm mad at the $90 nails. 
All right, it is literally five o'clock, y'all. I was at the gym for a while. I did 15 minutes on the Stairmaster, 30 minutes on the treadmill. I got in the crowd therapy bed. That wasn't a while. I was talking and running my mouth. And so I'm like, it's literally five o'clock and I haven't eaten. And the day is pretty much done. But I'm going to, I want a fish taco so bad. And the only reason we're not having it is because they're frozen anyway. But, because baby, if these ain't everything, I'm going to scream. I might take it back. And I'm not a taker backer, but a taker backer. I'm not a returner, but baby, it's $13 for four damn bagels. It doesn't even give you no damn instructions on what to do, but I guess put it in the doggone. It says keep frozen or refrigerated. They were in the freezer section. I guess we're just gonna put it in the, the toaster. Um, make some eggs at five and a damn o'clock. I can't even get these open. Oh, okay, let's see what they smell like, look like. They smell like bread. Oh, for them to have it in the freezer, they're kind of, well, they're kind of, oh my God, y'all, they're not even cut open. I have to slice it open. Anyway, let me put my dog on bacon in the air fryer and then, I don't even have no damn cream cheese. Y'all, I knew it was too good to be true. This damn bagel tastes like ass. I tasted it before I put anything on it. This is only one half of it. And I was like, yo. So then I put some butter spray and like some preserve on it because I don't have any cream cheese. We well, you can make it better. I made two eggs, no bacon. Okay, the bagel is itself is not good. But if you eat it with something, so I like eating it with the egg. Um, I just did two fried eggs with some chili crunch oil and Parmesan cheese. It's fine, but it's like you have to mask the taste. The bagel itself is not good. And then, it's just not. And I got a whole other half. I didn't even want the full one because it's not good. It, mm -mm. I'm not mad though, because I'm kind of glad it won't be like a staple. I'm kind of mad because the macros, because 25 grams of protein. Let me check my breakfast. This is the whole bagel that I didn't eat. But if I would have, it would have been 40 grams. And I only have two eggs, which I don't care, because I get 40 grams anyway. I just don't be getting 34 grams of fiber, which do I need that much. But no, these eggs are slamming though. Mm mm. I'm trying to decide if I just want to keep them and eat these and not buy no more. I probably will. But see, like the other half, what am I supposed to do with that? Because you have to eat something with it. Like, it's just, let me see. So, again, I'm just, now this does have preserves on it. You know, Again, you can't eat it by itself. But with the even this with the preserves is fine. So I'll eat this pack. I don't know if I will get more. It would be great if you make a sandwich with those. So let me not say I won't get more. It's not something that I'm just like, oh my god, I'm in love with. Cause baby, if you put some bacon and cheese and egg on this, it would slap. You just cannot eat it by itself. So I could take a uh, Dave's Killer Bread Bagel and just eat it. Especially like a, the cinnamon or the blueberry one. Just eat it and it will be fine. This one, it got to have something on it. And even with just the preserves, I wouldn't want to eat it alone. But like I said, if you got a whole breakfast for it or you made a sandwich, it will slap. But by itself, no. Um... And then with it being the price that it is, I just don't know. But it's not disgusting. It's just not something that can just... You got to have something with it. Like I said, it's fine. Y'all see, I'm still eating it. I'm going to go ahead and eat the other half. But since it was thicker, it's still cold in the middle. I had to put it back in the toaster. Yeah. Big protein. 
150 grams of protein. Y'all uh, gotta stop playing, bro. I swear, um, bro. He gon' fuck up the world, excuse me, but is that your girl? If she tell, that's a good referral. He be GB talk crazy to me, but Kendrick know I like the regular girls. I'm not good with the regular girls. Damn, they want a veteran girl. I just might change your life. We ain't wearing no Giuseppe jeans. We ain't doing none of normal things. Do you know what formal means? Critics saying that I lost the plot. Principles, yeah, I'd rather not. Messi about to come in hot. Dot. Uh, we gon' fuck up the world, excuse me, but this that your girl Didn't mean to possess your girl, baby, I'm high profile Don't ever tell them you met me, girl They gon' think that you read me, girl Five seven, I'm messy, girl I'ma pass you the name, ma uh, You got time for your bestie, girl Niggas know that I'm best dressed Too high profile to access I ain't even got a fact check All I'm wearing is Wells Barn I'm feeling good, I might wear no Matter of fact, let's stay platonic I just fucked, ain't that ironic You can pick the bunk or bed Either way, I'ma want some head Messy live through me Instead. We grew up around trifling hoes You ain't did nothing, I don't know It's cool, baby, I'm too high pro I'm baby team, I won't call it close Messy, get them girls off the stage Cause somebody's gonna get taken Somebody's gonna invade On a one-on-one conversation I'm ducked off from the world I'm immersed in the PlayStation And I ain't worried about her It's a thousand hers out waiting We gon' fuck up the world Excuse me, but this that your girl Didn't mean to possess your girl Baby, I'm high profile Don't ever tell them you met me, girl They gon' think that you ready me, girl. Five seven, I'm messy, girl. Famous, but I'm not for sale. Why you trying to possess me, girl? I mean, you know what upset me, girl. I was like that when you met me, girl. Cause he'll put you in princess shoes. Elevate your respect, you choose. Here's TK, I'm the sexy move. Don't let the homies touch you, move. Yeah, niggas know that I'm best dressed with Martine when I pour Jess. They sardines and I'm big fish. He caviar when I'm deep press. Take selfies, I'm a check with public Cornell. He go check the budget. Part two, many from my cousin. Never gave it back, cause it's nothing. Fuck it. Yeah, do the motion. Uh-huh. Uh, keep it focused, starship, is that a foreign? Hey, foreign? Uh, she's organic, skin is glowing, my heart is glowing like, wow. Split personality, two phones, two emotions like, wow. Girl, you get the notion, Around. it's not hard to notice yeah, yeah. That's a deep, 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 deep ocean That's why Shorty says she's celibate, I'ma keep hoping she's not. Shorty says she low with me, I'ma be open I'll try Messy, get them girls off the stage Cause somebody's gonna get taken Somebody's gonna invade On a one-on-one conversation I'm ducked off from the world I'm immersed in the PlayStation And I ain't worried about her It's a thousand hers out waiting Another productive day in the books I'm so proud of myself Whoa, cause you know I made sure that I cleaned And did everything today Cause tomorrow I'm not doing squats Okay It is my rest day my holy rest day, my Sabbath, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go get my feet done and do whatever I want. Whatever. I'm probably going to watch TV. I might play the same. Baby, I don't know. But I'm not going to be doing nothing. No cleaning, no work, nothing. So, anyway, it's time to eat. Um, Y'all know I'm the queen of quick meals at this point. So, this ain't going to take no time. The fettuccine, I already talking about three minutes, baby. That's all I need. And y'all know shrimp don't take no time. So, the longest thing that probably going to take the time is boiling the water. So, let me boil the water, get these noodles ready. Because, like, when I tell y'all I'm going to throw them in this saucer, I got to use, I'm going to use, I have some truffle oil. Is it, like, truffle? I, I could use butter, but I don't want to because I feel like this will have more flavor. Black truffle oil, yes. And garlic. Oh, damn, I do got to mix the garlic. All right, it's gonna take a little bit more effort than I would like, but let me just get started. garlic I minced unless y'all already saw it so I took the tails off of the shrimp already and I put just some spray olive oil in here um keep the calories down you know I want to use butter but you know and I'm just gonna cook this shrimp it smells so good because I already put like the garlic on here wait till y'all see all that damn garlic I minced did I need all that garlic yes because you can never have enough garlic like garlic is my favorite thing I feel like I mean these shrimp ain't got no seasoning on them do they need seasoning? 
I could do a little Cajun seasoning, but actually it's okay. I actually want this to be really light. Like I want it, and not even just calorie wise, because of course seasoning isn't, but like the pasta y'all, I've never made a pasta as simple as this one's gonna be. So yeah, I'm just trying to keep everything light. Um, I might, if it don't, you know, if it needs some seasoning, we'll do some. Um, but let's just see. So you know how shrimp is. Are y'all in focus? Oh. <laughs> well, this is the shrimp. Um, y'all know you're gonna let it sit for a little minute before I do my little flipsies. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my little pasta balls because they are punched up and it takes three minutes for them. So it's 8:41. They should be coming out at about like 8:44. Y'all, this shrimp smells so good already, and I don't even need all of these. Should I cook all this pasta in like? Yeah, you can have leftovers. Mmm, you might as well, because I mean, I don't, y'all, I'm not going to eat this. I don't, I don't <laughs> Shrimp do not take no time, y'all. It's literally been a minute. And, yeah, it's about ready to flip. Ain't that crazy? Look at that. Shrimp does not take no time. And it's really easy to overcook. So I'll be a little afraid. I actually, that's why I don't know if y'all know this. I like buying my shrimp already cooked. Like the grilled shrimp at Whole Foods. Cause it's so easy to like overcook some damn shrimp. And it don't take no time to cook. Like I'm not even flipping these over fast enough. It's already um, 8.43. That pasta a lot. Cause I know it ain't ready in no minute. I just know it ain't. Oh, now they got a little char on some of them. Love that. Look, y'all. Now they got a little char. All right, y'all. Give me a second because y'all know I'm doing my measuring thing. I'm measuring out this oil. Which I don't know how this is going to work because I'm not even going to eat all these noodles. But you know what? Yeah, I'm not. I don't, I don't know. We're just going to have to look. I had... 400 calories today so if it ain't perfect it ain't perfect i'm gonna put this dog on oil on this skillet and throw these noodles in there and count the noodles i don't know what to tell you in the shrimp <laughs> so i'm gonna let this heat up that's probably way too much oil but you know whatever here is the shrimp don't it look good it is so fresh i know that i had one or two maybe three <laughs> it just tastes so fresh now look at this dog on garlic y'all I love garlic. Look at this. That don't make no sense. Oh, yes. And it was more. This didn't take no time at all. Like, it's been like maybe 10 minutes. And this is pretty much it. So I'm just gonna let this, let me turn this heat down. Like, let this cook and I'm gonna throw the noodles in here. Um, I'm gonna need some seasoning. Like some garlic powder. You know what? Perfect. I'm actually going to use the Kinder's Lemon Garlic Butter. And this is it. Like, my noodles are not going to be... I hope it ain't nasty, y'all, because I ain't never did this. But I kind of just wanted it to be mostly Parmesan cheese and, like, a garlic type of thing. Type of vibe. This garlic smells so good. I don't want it to burn. So keeping the um the heat pretty low. And I need to add all of them. I don't want it to be too much. If I have to throw some out, I have to throw some out. That's about half of them. You turn the heat off. We don't need nothing to cook. Oh my God, Kendra's don't do this to me. 
Y'all, this piece is not trying to come out. I don't have that much. Let me open it up. My wood is used at all, really. You know what? I be going through some Kinder seasoning. And I'm going to add some Italian seasoning, too. Just a bit. And I'm probably going to eat all of this, to be honest with y'all, because I haven't eaten today. Not really. Way. I don't have to worry about it. I'm still gonna like weigh these noodles and this shrimp and like the cheese. And but you know, that's a lot of pasta. Y'all look at all of this freaking pasta and shrimp. Okay, so I weighed it out and it's not that bad. I mean it's more than I would usually have. But it's 843 calories. Y'all, but the protein though is really good for the protein. 70 grams. The rule of thumb is every 100 calories you kind of want 10 grams of protein, and we damn near did that. I don't even really need the doggone Caesar salad because it's just gonna be it's too much food. I'm not gonna hold you, but I bought that damn lettuce, and now I just put like a mountain of Parmesan on here. <laughs> And it was 25 grams, which is another 100 calories. I don't give a darn. Because I literally had like 500 calories left. And this is a lot of food. I just want to see, did it come out like good? Like I needed it to? I wish I had some parsley to make it pretty. I mean, the shrimp has parsley on it. Mmm. Mmm. Mind you, it ain't as good as like Alfredo. It's good though. Mmm, it is complete. Do that little salad on the side. This is so much food. This is crazy. Good afternoon, y'all. <laughs> it's definitely 4:30. Look at my hair. I look. Well, my hair, look at my hair, y'all. This is why I be telling y'all, say I don't look like damn Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I just washed it. Um, y'all know how, like, today's my race day. I'm not supposed to do nothing. Does washing your hair count? Because I don't have a lot of hair. I don't have to, like, detangle or nothing. And I feel like washing my hair is so therapeutic. Like, I love it. I would wash my hair every day, but it would, like, dry it out. But anyway, I was like, this is a great time to deep condition. Yeah. I'm, I should deep condition every week, but I don't. Like, every time I wash my hair, but I don't. But since I'm literally not doing anything, I was like, yeah, I'm about to take your mountains at the new walk and do the same thing I was just doing before I came and got y'all, but before I wash my hair. Turn dark back on, baby. I'm finally getting to a point that I haven't seen it before, like episodes I haven't seen before. And um, it's interesting. It's something different than I would usually be watching. Usually, y'all know I'm into the drama. I want to know all the drama. I want all the drama that ain't mine. But this is not necessary. Like, there is some drama in it. But it's, like, a very... It, it's not an easy watch at all. You definitely have to pay attention. And I just fell asleep on it until, like, a two-hour nap. But, anyway, I will resume it. Today was so restful. I love days like this. Um, this is the first weekend I didn't have any social activity. What did I even do yesterday? Oh, I went to the gym and I went to the store. Nothing really, but enough for me because I was literally at the gym for like two and a half hours running my mouth. But yeah, I think next weekend I want to do like a rot vlog because I next weekend I'm not doing nothing. I'm going to edit a video on Friday because that's my schedule. Probably going to go to the store to make sure I have everything I need so I don't have to leave the house for the next two days. And that's because the weekend after it is Jasmine's birthday and she's supposed to come down. I know my social battery, so I'm like, okay. And then um, my dad has to have surgery that week, that after next week too, and that's gonna be something that you know, all from my main. And I don't even know what time. I probably won't. I hope it's on a Wednesday, and I think it is. That way, I won't miss a lifting. They look at me, won't miss a lift. But um, yeah, I think after the next week, this is gonna just be too much going on. The week after that, I'm going to make sure I am well rested and well taken care of um i yeah i i just put this miel 
but Busu and Mint deep conditioner. I cannot wait till I'm finished with this. I should be finished with this. Y'all don't want to know how long I've had it. Matter of fact, is it an expiration date on it? 12 months, but I, I'm probably sure I've had longer than that. Y'all, I fucking had it. Don't let me lie, but why I think I had that when I had locks? I haven't had locks since basically my, I cut my hair my 30th birthday, which was 2022. That's already two years. So two years, but literally like a day or two before my birthday. So May 2022. Um, and I think, I, I, girl, I don't know. If not, it's still about two years, a year and a half. But I think it's two pushing three. I ain't gonna hold you. Because I wasn't using it. Um, and now I still barely use it because I should be deep conditioning my hair once a week. I don't know why I don't. I'm about to send it to my little cap. I have a cap that's like a, a steamer. It's great. But I need a... Do I have any plastic bags? Oh, you go one. Y'all know I used to keep these on deck because girl was bleaching. And now since I ain't girl, I was just realizing this when I was in the shower. I was just realizing like, yo, you haven't touched your hair like, well, now it will be cutting. And I can't believe my hair has been black this long. Y'all, I dyed my hair literally New Year's Eve. So it's been over, it's been half the year, over half the year now. And that was not my intention. Like, y'all know, remember when I first cut my locks off and I had went, I was green, of course I was. I was red, I was orange, I was blonde. Like, I was just, and then I was blonde, and then I went back to green, and then I went back to blonde. But I didn't intend to be black this long. Like, not that nothing's wrong with it. It just it wasn't. I don't know. It just happened. I just left it alone. I also didn't intend to have hair. I also didn't intend to have a perm because then I went through that. Well, actually, no. When I first dyed my hair black, didn't I have a perm? Yeah, yeah. That's wild, like the things I be doing to my hair and now I can't wait. Look, this is what I was trying to get to. I haven't cut my hair, it'll be three months. Oh, why am I tying this roll ball tight like I don't have to take it off to go take this damn dog out? I don't get a dog. If I had a dog outside, I would not see me today. It would be beautiful. I don't want to go out there anyway. It's fucking hot and I got an attitude about it because guy, we ain't had no rain and I'm looking at the damn weather forecast and ain't no rain in sight. And I'm like, what are you doing? We was doing great with our nightly rain to, you know, renew us and replenish us. And we need it, Lord, because it's hot. Don't get, ooh, Jesus, come on, September, please. Jesus Christ, I want to go out here. I literally have an attitude because I have to go outside and be in this shit. Anyway, <laughs> I haven't cut my hair in three months. That was not planned. And now I'm excited. Let's see if we can last. Cause I'm saying I'm excited. I want to get to the stage where like I don't want it to grow long. I'm not there. I don't know if I can handle. Like I do. I kind of craving to put my hair in a bun. Cause I love the bun style. Like you want to have locks. I I love a bun. But I want to do that thing where you shake and you, your hair is pretty long. But cause you're natural, you know. Well, I don't know if it's long, but I just want to. I want to shake my head and I want it to move. I want. I want water to shake off my hair like wet dog. Let me show y'all. I don't know why I'm taking this off. Like, it, girl, you. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, I want shit to get the fly when I'm shaking my head, damn it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just checking in with y'all. That's. You know, I'm about to. I, 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 let me take this dog out so I can go re resume my life, the life that I want to live. Um, Not outside. It's too doggone hot. I am so mad. But I'm come back and get under my steamer and turn dark back on. And then let this see. I probably let this sit for like an hour and then wash it out. And in the hour, it'll be down there six Whew. days like these. I was supposed to get my feet done today, and I just could not. I mean, I thought about this earlier, and I was like, bro, I just cannot leave the house. Like, I don't want to. And even though I was telling y'all, it's I really like getting my feet done. It's something that's also relaxing, and I enjoy it. I don't enjoy it more than just sitting here in my own space, not doing anything. <laughs> True introvert. I also was thinking about how good those doggone better bagels, twelve them dollars, thirteen actually, would be with cream cheese on them. And I also was like, just run the Publix real quick. I literally live walking distance within the Publix. I could, I'm not saying walk, cause you know, but I could have literally went and it wouldn't have been a big deal. But I was like, nah, 
that's how bad I'm really like we're not leaving the house but tomorrow when we leave the gym we will go to the Publix that's next to the gym lucky me and grab some cream cheese and go we're gonna revisit those bagels I mean the bagels stand I done ate one they're not bad like I told y'all you definitely have to have something with them I feel like cream cheese would definitely help them out because it's thicker but I just really want to express to y'all how bad I don't be wanting to leave my house and it's just like the best shit ever just to stay in here and we need another pandemic like this is amazing like why i was outside walking i was not even supposed to come and talk like this because i need to be watching my show but when i was walking yum y'all remember we talked about the, the it was mostly the guys but i heard people talking outside and i was instantly irritated like why are y'all out here talking go away and then I started thinking about our conversation when I was talking about, like, oh, I'm finding an apartment. I never really wanted a house. I kind of do now. Only because this is crazy, the way I just want to be alone, but then be crying about, oh, you're going to be alone. But I just, when I go outside, I don't want nobody out there. You know how people see you and be like, hey, and just like wave. No, I want to go outside in peace and bring my ass back on in here. Something is wrong with me. We knew that. <laughs> Okay, y'all, here are those fish tacos I made um, to try these tortillas. The tortillas look really good. And that is actually one piece of Mahi Mahi that is, that, that fish is so big and like full that I could put it on. Like I got two tacos with more than enough meat. And then I made those whole food brussel sprouts and they're pretty good too. Now y'all have no business seeing me right now cause my hair. <laughs> but anyway, I have to um, taste these and let y'all know. Because they smell really good. And they look really good. I can't really taste too much of, tor of the tortilla. Which I guess is a good thing. Because the other ones be a little bit too much. So I would definitely buy this tortilla again. Again it was like 80 calories for one. And it's corn and wheat. It's not bad. It's actually good. Good afternoon, y'all. Uh, please, my kitchen looks a mess. That's why I'm not eating on my island because it's cluttered with trash. Anyway, I just left the gym, apparently. I told y'all that I wanted to stop at the store to get some cream cheese for my bagels. More than cream cheese. Okay, this is why I don't trust myself to go to the store to pick up something small. This is why I was saying, no, we go to the store on this day and get our groceries and whatever you don't got, you just don't got. This is literally why I went to get the damn cream cheese. What is this? What is this? Said cream cheese. Okay. I got mixed berry whipped because it's a little like lighter on calories. But with the rest of this shit, they had a sale on kombucha, but I wouldn't get one free. So I got a ginger berry synergy. And a guava dragon fuel. Y'all know y'all know I'm a sucker for drinks. I'ma buy something to drink. I don't know. I got some light sour cream. Cause I wanted to make some more tacos. And I was like, yesterday it, it wasn't the fish or the tortillas as much as it's like the taco just wasn't hitting because the stuff that was on it. I'm keep trying to use doggone tartar sauce because I fell in love with it on the doggone uh fish fillet from McDonald's. It is not the same. So I was like, yeah, get some, get some um, sour cream. Do I have taco seasoning? I do, it would be great to mix it up. Anyway, whatever, I'm showing y'all what I got. I cannot wait to try this. So this is a smoothie bowl. I've never had one, because when you go to the store, they be having all that shit in it, all that fruit, all them coconut flakes, all that stuff that I don't want. So this is dragon fruit pineapple mango, and I got it, I wanna try it. Um, now, I did see Publix had, you know, the chopped fruit that had one that has a mango in it, it had dragon fruit and kiwi and blueberries. And I wanted to get it so bad because I wanted to taste the dragon fruit. I don't know if I like it. I don't even know what dragon fruit tastes like outside of like um, like the fake dragon fruit. Like for candy. Do y'all remember the dragon fruit Starburst? <gasps> they was good. But you know like a real dragon fruit. But the damn fruit was $15. And I was not about to waste $15 playing and then I don't eat it. So anyway, got a smoothie bowl. Then they had buy one, get one on the Smithfield sausage. So I got some of this because I could like easily make some little sausage patties or what have you for breakfast because y'all know I still struggle with using a breakfast meat. I say I'm going to use ground beef and there's nothing wrong with ground beef, but I do want to use ground beef like out of every meal out of the day. And the people do that, especially people that do carnivore. It's my own mind. 
that I just, why can't I just eat nothing but ground beef? Yeah, I can. Why do I think something's wrong with it? I have no idea. Like, I don't. When I see other people eat nothing but, like, ground beef and steak, I don't think nothing of it. But if I just eat ground beef, I'll just be like, I think it's that I think that y'all are going to judge me. And again, why the hell do I care what y'all got to say? I bought some Swiss cheese because I want to make a sandwich with my wrap that I bought, those uh, wheat wraps. And I know, I guess we're not supposed to be buying lunch meat. Girl, boo, they still selling it, so I guess it's okay. This is the boar's head jerk turkey breast. If I'm going to get sick, I'm going to get sick. It just is what it is. I put that in the Lord's head because I'm not going to be afraid. So, all of this wasn't bad. It was like $30. Um, But I literally was only supposed to go and spend, what, maybe like 4 And this is why I don't trust myself to go to the store. So, also, I haven't learned that I need to stop trying stuff and just stick to what I know. Y'all, they had my same center cut bacon that I usually get. The same thing, but I wouldn't get one. And that's what I should have bought and got. Because this damn sausage, y'all, I only got a little bit for 200 calories. You know, y'all got to see. That is 200 calories worth of sausage. I have not learned. I have not learned. We do not need to try nothing. I mean, granted, we can try stuff like this. But when it comes to our protein and how we do our proteins and stuff, no, because this means that this is some trash ass shit. All them damn calories for that little bit of meat. When I can get three little slices of bacon for 90 calories, boy, this is. And then what did I do? Go buy two of them. You know what? I should return them. I hate to be that person. I really hate to be that person. Also, when I know it wasn't expensive, but it's like, I kind of don't want to eat it. Because it's just... <sighs> when am I going to learn? If it's not broke, please stop trying to fix things. Just as I suspected, when you put some cream cheese on here, she buzzing. Pretty good. But you got to you gotta put cream cheese on it. Anyway, even though I feel like I didn't get a lot of sausage, um, I crumbled it up. Um, two eggs, like I think it was like 60 grams of sausage, and then the better bagel, 500 calories, which is a little bit much for me, just a little bit, because I'm usually around like 450, but also 50 grams of protein. We're not mad at that at all, at all. So I don't know. Might be able to make it work. But anyway, thank y'all for kicking it with me. Y'all know I'm about to go ahead and end this because I have to edit y'all. And it's almost 4 o'clock. Like, I don't know why my days is just going later and later. But anyway, thanks for kicking it with me. I'll holla.